So we know there will be difficult decisions ahead, but working together, I know we can take the country through those difficult times to the better times that I believe lie ahead. Deficit reduction and continuing to ensure economic recovery is the most urgent issue facing Britain. I alone have the main responsibility for deciding how to react to recent events. I have therefore today spoken to the Prime Minister and to the Deputy Prime Minister to inform them of my decision to stand down from my role as Chief Secretary. Well, how much is it going to hurt? On the 4th of January next year, the main rate of VAT will rise from 17.5% to 20%. Yes. The years of debt and spending make this unavoidable. I therefore declare Ed Miliband the winner and the leader of the Labour Party. It is a hard road to follow, but it leads to a brighter economic future. And if we don't take this road, this country would face economic ruin. We all know what it's like. You're at Freshers' Week. You meet up with a dodgy bloke and you do things that you regret. <laughs> One in ten of the population went to university in my day and I, and I was privileged as a result. I came from a modest background and had a very good university education free of charge. We now have four in ten of the population going to university. It is not supportable. The eyes to the right. 323. The nose to the left, 302. Obviously, very sorry to see him go because he did a very good job as director of communications, both for the government and for the country. He ran the Downing Street press office in a very professional and straightforward and correct way, and I think has has done some very good work. But I understand why he wants to go. Look, they're clearly disappointing figures, but the statisticians tell us that the weather had a huge effect. We had the coldest December for a hundred years. Businesses were closed people couldn't get to work. The banks will lend more money, especially to small businesses, pay more taxes, pay less bonuses, be more transparent about the bonuses they do pay, and make a greater contribution to our regional economy and society. It's quite obvious at the moment there's a, uh, an enthusiasm amongst people to sort of try and talk the Lib Dems down and write us off. It's happened before, it'll no doubt happen again, and we always, always prove people wrong. And I think we will prove people wrong again. This is a very important message that is being sent to this Conservative-led government. Because, you know, Nick Cameron and David Cam... Uh, Nick Clegg and David Cameron... <laughs> Colonel Gaddafi has made this happen. He has lied to the international community. He has promised a ceasefire. He has broken that ceasefire. He continues to brutalise his own people. Put it this way, I think everybody knows my views about the nature of the No campaign. It's been um, a fairly nasty campaign which has sought to frighten and mislead people. This is a bitter blow for all those people like me who believe in the need for political reform. But the answer is clear, and the wider job of the government and the Liberal Democrats in government will continue. We will stand together, but not so closely that we stand in each other's shadow. You will see a strong Liberal identity in a strong coalition government. You might even call it muscular liberalism. Well, I would say the government, I believe, will prove over the coming days, weeks and months that it is a good, hard-working, cohesive government that is getting things done for the good of the country.